Welcome back for number three, folks. Today we are going to do a Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. So let's get this opened and we will get started. Artwork's pretty sick on the inside. I have to say I do like that. We assume at this point everybody's already opened up these types of boxes. If you haven't, they come with booklets. Every one of them, every set comes with them. They let you know all the cards that's in there. And it's kind of neat for you. If you're trying to make sure that you got a complete set, you can see anything and everything that's in them which is pretty cool and you can even go all the way back you know sometimes people get excited they see you know a V card and they get you know super oh this is gonna be great and you're like oh yeah it's a nice card it's just a standard rare it's nothing special but yeah sure it's nice and then you get to you know some of these rainbow cards and these full art cards full art ones are the ones that really stick out but they tell you in every book these rainbow ones in particular are pretty sweet for full art. A lot of those are like trainer cards sometimes too, but they're pretty sweet. And then you'll get your golds also, which are really, really cool. They tend to have like a, a gold and sometimes like uh, blackish corners. Unless it's a trainer card, then it's typically just like gold, but it's kind of neat though. Helps you see if you get the whole set. Let's get this box open. So, again, as usual, you get a little booklet on the rules, you get counters, get your dice, and you get a little V-Star token like we already got, because we've already opened up a bunch of these before. For anything like that, like me and my daughter, we like collecting all the little knickknacks. Everything else goes. <laughs> so again, if this is your first time opening up one, we'll give you just a brief rundown of what these boxes normally come with. You get a pack. Normally gives you all your energies and whatnot that are in it that you would want. You get a code card automatically in there. And then you get a bunch of like card sleeve protectors that are designed with artwork specific for that box. We save them. They come in handy as you're adding them all up. We don't care so much about the energies. They get thrown. And then you get these little placards. Um, we use them as we keep building up cards. We'll set them up in here and we'll use them to separate as we go through things. All right, so Brilliant Stars Box again. Eight boosters. Brilliant Stars is pretty neat. The artwork's pretty cool on them. So we will go ahead with that and we will get started. Over time with that pack. Code card. Again, we're going to be doing some things with those very soon in an upcoming video. We're probably just going to start giving them away if, for people that like them. I've never ever used one of them. I know people say you can go online, you can do stuff with them, trade them in, but never enjoyed it myself. Grass, Grotto, Berry. Cynthia's Ambition, Piplup, Shroomish, Purloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Reverse Luxray, and a Hollow Lucario. We'll go ahead and sleeve that one. 
Now for those of you that are new, what we do in this channel is we open up all of our cards, anything that, you know, no big deal. We just kind of put them in a pile. We separate, we separate them for giveaways later on. Um, anything that was a reverse, a non-hollow rare, or, you know, a hollow, a good hit, rainbow, gold, whatever. We will do a summary of it at the end. For maybe people that missed the draws in the first place, they can just still see what comes out. Not had good luck with getting these open all of a sudden. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's say grass. Fire. Those of you who watch, you'll see. I, for some reason, almost always name the opposite. Maybe not always, but pretty darn close. Barry, Clang, Gabite. Oh, I think I saw something on the corner. We'll see what happens. Howlacha, Bizzle, Gibble, Trap Inch, Cast Form, a Full Art Vaporeon. That is awesome. Very cool looking. And a non hollow air Dredogen. That is beautiful. So again, I'm probably not the expert as much as people, some of these channels out there are. Um, I personally am a first gen guy, 90s kid. Uh, so for me, I love the original Pokemon about the most. I like some of the newer ones here and there, but they just aren't my, my favorite. But, again, we're also not super experts. We might have played every game and collected cards for a long time, but as far as, you know, these guys sometimes will pull cards and go, oh, you know, hey, this is the this is the secret rare and this and this. All the, I got other guys I watch. I do enjoy watching other people's channels. They go, oh, that one's worth $12, and this one's worth $17.50, and you go, Jesus, I got to Google that. I don't know how people keep that in their head off the top of their head, but, hey, more power to them. Say grass, fire, opposite, every time. What do I say? Executor, Choice Belt, Staravia, Golet, Chimecho, Chimchar, Mencino, Baltoy, Monferno, pretty cool looking, and a non hollow, I'm going to say Eskew. I don't know what the heck that one is. You know, getting their head bang on, freaking people out in the car next to you. Like, what the hell is wrong with that person? Nothing, or why aren't things this on? Leave me alone. Ooh, that one opened up super smooth. It's okay. Hi, hey. One, two, three, four to the front. Electric. Grass. Wasn't opposite at least that time. Primplup. Probopass. Sensino. Chimecho. Gibble. Turtwig. Trapinch. Piplup. Pot Helmet. And a non hollow Magmortar. We have not had very many huge draws in the last couple episodes. We've had a few here and there. Nothing super exciting. We did get a couple of rainbow cards. They were pretty neat. But maybe we'll get lucky here. One, two, three, four to the front. Fighting. Oh my goodness, history for this channel. First time that we've gotten one actually correct. Maybe that'll be good news for us. Let's see, Collapse Stadium, Luxio, Pot Helmet, Mencino, Baltoy, Snow Runt, Nose Pass, Dedean, Reverse Clink, and a non-hollow Excavalier. Again, woohoo. Thought maybe we'd get lucky. I got three packs left for this box.
I will say too, we're small, we're just starting out. Like I said, we're not even doing the lives. Oh, there's a black card mixed in. I don't think I've ever seen a black card. I really don't know what a black card is, but we're gonna find out. V-Star black card. I've never seen that. I'm super confused. Maybe somebody else knows what that is. I have no clue. It's very weird to me. I, th I didn't even see an energy. Maybe we did that wrong. Well, let's see. Dusclops, Cynthia's Ambition, Charon's Care, Nose Pass, Snow Runt, Clink, Dedean, Cub Chew, Reverse, Howlicha, and a Flygon V. Odd. Maybe anybody else knows. I've never seen a black card. And I've done a lot of these boxes. That's the first time I've seen that in the pack. Uh, God, no clue. I don't know what that is at all. Very weird to me. But we'll get this one sleeved up. And I almost forgot. We do put top loaders on. At least until we research what they're worth you know we're just trying to be careful we should go ahead and do those other ones too while we were prepping just in case because i'm not the guy that knows them values off the top of my head so you can do that research them later see what the deal is this i'm still confused at white v star black pokeball we're gonna set it aside because it confuses the crap out of me Maybe that's normal in these boxes, but I, like I said, I've, I think that's the eighth elite trainer box that we've opened for Brilliant Stars, and I've never had that. So, beat the crap out of me. One, two, three, four. Oh, we know it's an energy, not a black card. Let's say grass. Second time we got it right. Look at that. Maybe some good luck coming. That'd be nice. Pot Helmet, Executor, Friends and Galler, Staryu, Ryulu, Starly, Milsery, Carablast, Manafi, and a non hollow rare Tornadus. I feel like every time I say, oh, let's see if we get lucky, I don't get lucky. Last pack. We'll see what happens. Those of you that watch this channel when we do last pack, we do bring out Zoltar. We'll see if he brings us any luck with this pack at all. Some guys say last pack magic. I don't care what it is. Let's see if it is anything good. Get that code card out of here. One, two, three, four, to the front. And we will go with fire. Grass, opposite again. Roseanne's backup. Blunder policy. Executor. Sock. Cool artwork, at least. Cherubi. Ryulu. Starly. Spirit Bomb. A full art Dusknar, which is pretty sweet looking. And a non hollow rare muck. So we will get the full art sleeved up. And again, as always, until we research it and know a little bit more about it, it gets a top loader. Thank you, Zoltar. We got something out of that. All right, folks, so to end our summary, this is our our drawings tonight. Our non hollow rares were Muck, Tornadus, Escavalier, Magmortar, Eskew, and Drudajon. Shiny Reverses, Manafi, Howlacha, Clink, Pot Helmet, Monferno, and Luxray.
and get a full art Dusk Noir, a Hollow Lucaria, a Flygon V, and a full art Flygon. Those two, were, I think, were probably our best tonight out of this one. And we will research them and we'll see what happens with them. But tune in next time and thanks for joining.